Well, Wendell Ford in North Spokane is getting into the entertainment business. Well, at least for one night. 40 years ago, there was a drive-in movie theater where the Y, the Wendell at the Y, I should say, now stands. Tonight, it's going to host a drive-in movie, and it's back to the future. The whole event is going to be powered by plugging into a Ford Lightning F-150. <laughs> New at 6 tonight, Bronte Sarasky shows us what moviegoers can expect. This Ford Lightning won't be used for driving Friday night. Instead, it's going to be used to power up a drive-in movie. This vehicle does have the ability to power a lot of majority of uh, household items in case of a blackout or something of that nature where you typically use an actual pass, uh, gas powered generator. So this will be powering the projector and the audio sound system. It's a way the dealership is showing off the Lightning, an all electric truck. They'll be projecting a showing of Back to the Future, saying it fits the theme of the new electric truck. So what better to introduce Spokane to the Lightning than with a movie that's premised on all electric. The truck will power both the projection and sound for the film. With us powering everything for the movie and the audio sounds with the vehicle itself, it does give us a chance to display the capabilities of this vehicle to the community considering that, again, we are entering a new era of all-electric vehicles. And as far as the movie tying into the vehicle, a little bit of the same of how this movie is talking about the future. The dealership says this isn't just a way for them to show off their car, but connect with members of the community. We do a lot of community outreach on many different levels, and being one of the very last family-owned and operated dealerships, it just helps us to, again, reconnect with those who we serve. There will also be food trucks for all attending the event. And if you are attending the drive-in movie tonight, the only entrance is going to be on the north side of the dealership. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now.